Now, let's create an announcement. I can add additional resources to an announcement and I can simply post it. It works just like any other social network tool. If I need to edit it, I can do so. I can change what I've written or if I'd like to, I can add a link, a YouTube video, something from my drive or add an attachment add an attachment. Now I'm going to create an assignment. I've given the assignment a simple title and then I'm going to add a description of the assignment. I can set a due date and if I want to I can even put a time on it. If I need to also add the same assignment to another class I simply pull down the menu and check that class as well. This is helpful if you've created three different courses for your chemistry class or whatever class that you teach and you have one for each block. That way you're not copying and pasting and having to start all over with the other class. You simply push it through all three classes at the same time. If I click onto the other courses, you'll see it's there as well. In the how to make a blog class that I have here, it's just a demo class that I have for training. You'll see that I have several resources including video files and YouTube videos. One, um, in, in some cases I have a link and in others I've uploaded files directly. In the Chromebook tips class, You'll see that I have links as well as attachments. If I want to look at the details of the assignment, I simply click on the link. I can review the details. I can make an adjustment if I need to, but I can also check the assignment status. This lets me see which of my students have completed the assignment, and if I wish to, I can enter grades right here. Now let me show you this in another class. I'll go back to my stream and click on the assignment. Here we have two students who've not done their homework. But if I scroll down a little bit further on this assignment, they've actually completed it and it's been graded. If you want to grade an assignment, all you need to do is click on the assignment and you can edit the grade. If, I, if you wish to, you can also make comments back to the student and the student can comment back to you. The neat thing about this, it's private dialogue between you and the student. If you want to collect your grades, simply select download and guess what happens? You get a comma separated file 
or comma separated value file or Excel file that pulls all of your grades into a nice, neat spreadsheet. And you can see who has submitted the grades and who has not. Tell me, can it get any easier than this? I don't think so.